Okay, this is Stan with StanTutors.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to go in and set up PayPal in WooCommerce um, as a payment option. So what I'm specifically going to show you how to set up is PayPal Express, or also known as a PayPal business account. Uh, the difference between a personal and a business account is, well, you can go to PayPal and see that. If you just type that into Google, it'll show you that there are some differences. Uh, but the main difference um, is that if, if you have a business account, then it will enable people to go in, and as they go to pay you, it'll give them the option to pay um, through their PayPal account or through a credit card. Uh, credit card. And you won't need to have uh, a PayPal account. They can just do it with a credit card. So that's really kind of nice about having a PayPal business account. So um, what you'll want to do is, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to, so I'm already logged in here to my WordPress account. I'm in the admin area, and I'm going to go to WooCommerce, and I'm going to, I'm just hovering over this, and then I'm going to go to Settings here. And you can see we have all kinds of different information here across the top, some tax, shipping, and payments. We're going to focus on payments in this one, so I'm going to click on Payments. Uh, I can choose the different types of payments that I want. The one that I want here is this PayPal checkout. I'm sorry, I called it Express. It's been named several different things, but um, this is the PayPal checkout. So uh, you want to make sure that this is enabled. Click on Manage. Uh, you'll want to enable it here if it's not already. You can call it whatever you want. You can say PayPal or credit card, however you want to say it. If you want to give it a description, you can too. Uh, that's pretty easy. Uh, you do have a live option here to do um, a live checkout or you can do sandbox. Sandbox is just um, t for testing purposes only. So if you want to test just some, some different options, you can do that here. So we're going to go live and then we're going to click on set up, uh, set or link an existing PayPal account. What's this, what, what this is going to do is it's going to do what's called an OAuth verification and it's going to go in and it's going to get the information from PayPal directly. And so what you'll do is you'll just click on this and you can see we actually were taken to PayPal and we would put in our email address here and then it would ask for our password and then we would click on you know next until we came back to here again. Um, and then uh, once you're done uh, you can go through some of these other settings. Uh, you've got the option to, to name uh, or brand your site that will be passed on to PayPal. You can add a logo image that will be passed on to PayPal, a header image as well. You can see the size limits that are used for each one of these. Uh, page style, uh, let's, I haven't really gotten into that one very much. Uh, this is optionally enter the name of the page style you wish to use. These are defined within your PayPal account. Okay, so that, that is a, a custom um, style that you can set up um, that PayPal has these different styles that you can set up and, and so this is specifying which style you want to use. Uh, the landing page, uh, this is basically, I believe this is the return um, type the PayPal page to display. Uh, oh yeah, so this, this is actually a great option and I would choose billing non PayPal account that should be the landing page that you want people to go to and the reason I say that is that's my opinion on that is you can do either one but the PayPal billing page allows you to basically go in and it does give that credit card information right off right off the bat so um, it's not telling them log into PayPal and we also have credit cards if you don't have a PayPal account the odds are that somebody's going to actually have credit card and not a PayPal account, so you want to go with the odds, which is the billing non-PayPal account. Um, so we've got the prefix of WC is fine. Um, billing address is required. Require if you require that to be set, then choose that there. Um, if you do require a phone number, then make sure you choose that. It's pretty straightforward a lot of this stuff, but I just want to see if there's anything else uh, that we need to make sure that um, that I need need to explain. Uh, you can go here and if you enable this it's going to give you some more options here. Um, but feel free to kind of just experiment with these and remember when you hit the save changes button it's not permanently saving anything. You can always go back and save them again and make some adjustments and save them again. So don't get too worried about that. Um, anyway, let us know if you have any questions. Um, if you 
liked this video, then please subscribe to us and give us a thumbs up. And also, if you'd like to learn more and get some more help along the way, uh, you can visit me at standtutors.com. Thanks.